Okay, happy new year. Yay, it's a new year, yay. Uh, yay, except it's hard. We're like in this crazy time and it's dark and uh, it's that whole thing has been getting to me. But I wanna share with you today three things to stop doing this year in order to be a happier mom. So we're gonna go over those three things right now. Number one is ignoring your own needs. So we ha as moms have needs. We have needs for exercise, for quiet time, for eating good food. We have a need for a good night's sleep, right? So when you ignore your needs, don't take care of your, your heart, your mind, your body, you get depleted and you are a crap parent, right? right when you don't get enough sleep when you don't see friends when you don't exercise you're kind of a miserable crappy parent you model unhealthy sacrifice self-sacrifice right you you model that you're you're not worthy of taking care of yourself um and then you also aren't able to respond to your children with your full whole brain you literally are going to be much you're going to have more stress the stress response cuts up access to your whole brain you're not responding with everything that you can you're not the best that you can be um, healthy kids with healthy attachment they need parents who can take care of themselves and that is really important so the number one thing to stop doing this year is ignoring your own needs make your own needs a priority your self-care is not selfish it is actually your responsibility. It's your responsibility to take care of yourself so that you can, then you can be able to respond to your kids more thoughtfully and kindly and all of those things, right? So stop ignoring your own needs. Number two, stop equating your parenting success with your child's behavior. So obedient and quiet um, behavior from kids, it actually doesn't always mean that necessarily mean that you have like a healthy uh, emotionally and mentally healthy child like it could mean something else like and and kids who are are pushing back and pushing boundaries or who are clingy or who are whiny it doesn't necessarily mean they are bad and what we want to do with this is we want to start to look at our kids behavior um, as a message right it's communication what is it telling us about their needs and what uh, what you know can we move from instead of from judgment about their behavior into curiosity and mindfulness helps with this a lot right so we want to try to be more curious less judgmental more open-minded let's not equate their behavior with our parenting success, right? We have to have to try to get a little bit of space from that. And then the third thing to stop doing this year to be a happier mom is um, expecting yourself to do it all perfectly without any help, right? Um, right now we are in this crazy COVID world where getting help, right, can be really hard to get, um, but try to get it anyway if, as in a way that feels safe and comfortable for you and your family parenting is meant to be done by a village being alone with a small child for 24 hours a day is crazy making right and you know um we it really the whole it takes a village thing is really true our isolation is not healthy for us it's not healthy for our kids try to get help if you can and then also like we didn't birth our babies with all the tools and the knowledge we need to be great parents right we go to we, we get lessons to play guitar and to drive a car and to do to do less tennis and all those things but for some reason with parenting we think we can just wing it it's that's a little crazy right like there's all this research there's all this great stuff out there we're healing generational patterns we're in a whole revolution of parenting get help if you need it get help if you need you know time get help if you need like support like like the mindful parenting membership resources and tools to make yourself a better parent right like that's investing in what is literally the most important thing in our lives right our relationship with our kids so um 
and get help. And you can't expect yourself to be everything and know everything. It's not like just intuitive. We need to give ourselves the resources. So if you can, get help. So those are my three things. Uh, stop ignoring your own needs. Stop equating your parenting success with your child's behavior. And stop expecting yourself to do it all perfectly without any help. And this all boils down to some compassion, right? If we want to have compassion for our kids, if we want our kids to have compassion for others in the world, we have to model it. And compassion starts with you. It starts with having some compassion for yourself. So um, I wanna know what you think about this. If you, if you agree, give me a yes in the comments, let me know. And I hope this will help you jumpstart your new year in a healthy way. Um, so thanks so much for watching, for being here, and bye.